Hi guys, this is Akanksha and you're watching my YouTube channel All About English. Since you all know I love to teach English in fashion and with a passion, I always take up topics that are trendy and sneezy. The topic with which we are running these days is Virushka's wedding. We are trying to build up our vocab with the help of words from this fairy tale wedding. But before I start up with this third part, I would like to tell what all I've covered in the previous two videos. In the previous videos, we have talked about the, the amazing venue where the wedding took place. Then we talked about the entire ensembles, the dress of Anushka Sharma. We also talked about how the bride and the groom complemented each other. Then we discussed how did the attires, how did the flowers that were used to decorate the venue were in sync with the entire Tuscan skies, with the Tuscan surroundings. Tuscan is a state in Italy. Here I want to say is that I have taught about how the arrangements, how the colors of the attires, how were those all things complementing the beautiful sky in the afternoon wedding. So let's listen and start up with our first slide today. Today I'll be taking uh, one slide. Now I'll be taking small, small lecture so that it becomes or it does not, uh, you know, uh, make you to sit back for long hours continuously. Okay, Anushka's accessories. She teamed her outfit with syndicate Chadao jewelry, which was handcrafted in uncut diamonds and Baroque Japanese cultured pearls. Okay, before I explain, let's first have a look at the picture. We can see Anushka Sharma wearing a beautiful choker necklace. Then she also has that long piece of necklace. She has complemented and clubbed her look with a studded diamond earrings. Then she also has that mang tikka and the matha patti. But the hero of her entire uh, beautification or of entire makeup were the lush hydrangeas that she sported on her bun. Those were big showy flowers that completely stole the show. Now, since let's go to the topic. She teamed her outfit with syndicate chadao jewelry, which was handcrafted in uncut diamonds and Baroque Japanese cultured pearls. The difficult word here is syndicate. What does the word syndicate means? You might all have heard about syndicate bank. In that bank, they have taken that word syndicate because they want people to come up and work together. They have clubbed people to get their mutual cooperation. So syndicate basically means to club things, to form an alliance between people or between things, to gang up various products together. It means to assemble parts and to form a product. So here what they have done is, she has steamed her outfit, means her lehenga, with syndicate jadao jewelry. What is jadao jewelry? Jadao is something which has, which has... So what does that mean? This means that, it means that she wore Jadao jewelry. What is Jadao jewelry? Jadao jewelry is some handcrafted jewelry in which you may have kundan, you may have pearls, you may have um, diamonds. But the speciality of such kind of a jewelry is that basically it's handcrafted, it's made, it's by, it's made by hands, and it's um, it's fine, it's very delicate, and at the same time it looks amazing. It is very appealing. In Jadao jewelry, what they have used the word, one special word is here used, syndicate Jadao jewelry, means she wore her outfit with syndicate Jadao jewelry. Syndicate means to alliance things together. You might have heard about that syndicate bank. Syndicate bank ka kya matlab hai? Wo bank jaha pe log mutually cooperation, mutually cooperate karke work karte hai. It's an alliance of people. It's a grouping, it's a teamwork. So it's a place. Um, so the word syndicate is basically used to, to club things, to pool in, means to uh, assemble things together. So syndicate 
jadao jewelry means a kind of jewelry in which the material the pearls or the diamonds or the kundans are all brought together they are all uh, they are all put together to form some uh, to form some fine piece of necklace or bracelet or anything then it was it said she teamed her outfit with syndicate jadao jewelry clear which was handcrafted in uncut diamonds also clear means the jewelry was handcrafted made by hands it was a hand creation and had uncut diamonds diamonds that an uncut very fine very fine diamonds <coughs> and baroque japanese cultured pearls this is the twist baroque japanese cultured pearls so japanese cultured pearls what does that mean this long necklace that she is wearing is made up of pearls that have been that have been used or that have been brought from japan japanese cultured means something that has been that that has been that has been used in japan or that is being used in japan since times immemorial so something that has been imported some fashion trend some style that has been uh, came that has that has come all the way from japan and and we in india are also using it so that means um, japan japanese cultured so this was all about this was all about japanese cultured pearls now we have also come across one word that is baroque baroque japanese cultured pearls what does the word baroque means since i am saying that it is a techno it is not a technology it is a it is a fashion trend that has been imported from japan and seems like has been used in japan since times immemorial so baroque basically might mean something ancient something antiquated something colonial so something antique something colonial something archaic can be called as baroque it is as simple as that very simple to understand baroque japanese cultured pearls baroque jewelry or you can say that uh, some baroque jewelry my mother in law bought some baroque jewelry for for me when she went when she went to malaysia when she went to dubai she she bought some uh, golden coins some baroque golden coins for me so this is the usage of this word baroque she accompanied it with a pale pink spinel pale you all know do i need to explain it again pale means dull dim something um, not very vibrant something not jarring something soothing so pale pink spinel and spinel is your choker that um, um that neck piece that is encircling your neck that is called as a choker or a spinel the next line the soft pink diamond matha patti and the studded earrings accented her look so uh, did, as i already said she was wearing a matha patti the diamond matha patti that was a studded with diamonds and she also carried diamond studded earrings that accented her look what does the word accented means accented means uh, something uh, which uh, you know took her look to some other level highlighted her look or magnified her look something if you uh, suppose sometimes you wear a lehenga and you uh, normally dress up and sometimes you wear a lehenga and you put a uh, mang ti kon it then somebody might say oh your look is looking absolutely accented today that means your look is boosted with the help of that matha patti or that maybe some necklace that you wear on your sari that strengthens your look magnified your appearance is magnified your demeanor is is redoubled it's you become this uh, you become the uh, limelight of a party because of some necklace because of some maybe some uh, i shadow even sometimes sometimes small things make wonders so this is what it means means your um, anything can accent your look like a simple bangles can accent your look simple um, a smile always above all magnifies your look so always keep on smiling because that is the most important thing isn't it so uh, basically accent means to take something to some to some other to some next level to a better level to strengthen to you know vitalize something it means here the earrings and the matha patti everything uh, took her look to some next to some other level to a next level to 
टू अ ग्रेट हाइट टू अ न्यू हाइट और स्ट्रेंगदेंड हर लुक और यू कैन से बूस्टेड हर अपियरेंस सो आई थिंक दिस वॉज ऑल फ्रॉम दिस लेक्चर इट वॉज अ स्मॉल लेक्चर बिकॉज आई थिंक इट्स ऑलवेज ईजी एंड कम्फर्टेबल वेन यू लर्न थिंग्स इन parts so this is all from this lecture and i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, this is my channel all about english don't forget to like my video and uh, share it if you want and if you really find it appealing then um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks a lot for watching the video god bless everybody